So we're at the Utah State Fair and we're having fun. And we're gonna. What do you see? Oh, it's all blurry. Sorry. This. this. We're gonna take nice. pictures. So we're gonna take a picture for Shailene on her phone. She wants it. Let's see. Look at her awesome phone. Jack's dropped it and it's all cracked now. Okay. There, there's our password. So if you steal our phone, you can figure it out. Here we go. Vlog exception. He's smiling and everything. Okay. Now it's Daddy's turn with Jax. Say hi, G! Put him down just a little bit. Jax! Hey! Where's the camera? Good job. Walking around the fair looking at some art. And he's just talking to you. Dad, 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 dad. Yeah. Are you waiting high? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah, that one's cute. The black and white one is way cute. Uh, yeah. Oh, look. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Is he gonna kiss you, huh? Is he gonna kiss you? He's gonna eat my hair. Look, he's gonna eat my hair. Yeah, that, that doesn't say back. Don't pull out that wire. Are you Oh yes. He's looking at the white. Oh, hi, baby. Oh, oh my like god. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. Hi, baby. He's gonna say hi. He's gonna say hi. He's gonna say hi. Yeah, he's getting the fingers. Look at his little head. Oh, he's gonna escape. Oh, he's gonna escape. He's so daring. He's very daring. Hey, look. Give this one a kiss. My dream shirt. Look, right here. Kiss right here. Kiss. Oh, careful, careful, careful. Hey, Jax, where's the cow? Where's the cow? Huh? So we're looking at the cows. Do you love the cows? Yeah. What does the cow say? Say, moo. Say, moo. She keep looking. Say cheese. Hey, Jax. What does the cow say? <laughs> what does the cow say? Say moo. You're not gonna do it now. Say moo. What does the cow say? Let's walk. Maybe he'll do it. Moo. Yeah. Moo. Do it. Say moo. This is so much fun. Are you loving all these animals? Can you tell mom thank you? Say thank you. Thank you. Can you say can you say, Hey Jax, can you say touchdown? Touchdown. Dad. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Dad. Touchdown. This is what I need for di dinner. Holy crap. This is my dinner for the night to go. Black beans, rice, a couple uh, uh, tostada things, and chicken. So it should be good. How about? Hi. Can you say please? No, say please. Oh, please. Hey, so I'm gonna go on a run real quick. It's right now 8:01 p.m. So I'm gonna go on probably about a 50-minute run. Probably go about four or five miles, kind of depending on how I feel. And then, uh, then uh, go to work tonight. And then, yeah. So, feel pretty good today. Um, kind of see how my cardio is tonight running. I'm kind of scared now for the marathon, I'm not gonna lie. So, anyways, put on my hat, put on, has a light on it, so I'll turn that on. Um, I'll put on my reflective gear because it's getting a little bit later. I'm not sure how much light I'll have. And uh, let's get her done.
Let's go. So, just finished my run, and I did, let me pull it back up, I did 5.13 miles, and it took me uh, 50 minutes, 45 seconds, so it's an average pace of 9.54. It says I burned about 975 calories, which I think is completely bogus, and it was pretty flat, so only 80 feet of elevation gain. If you go into here, this is on my Garmin through Forerunner, um, so if you go into here, it shows my splits. And then like my pace and elevation and everything. So I splits was one mile, 944, 10 minutes, 1001, 959, 949. And then the last point one or whatever it was is 939. So a pretty decent pace, not too fast, not too slow. It shows my cadence. So how many steps per minute I'm at. I'm averaging probably about 160-ish, a little bit less that, lower than I want to be. So I need to shorten up my steps a little bit. This is my elevation. I went up just a teeny bit, down a teeny bit, up a teeny bit, and down a teeny bit. Nothing, you can't even really tell, honestly, uh, during the run. And then this is my timing, my pace. Um, went pretty good. And then that was the route around my neighborhood. There's the golf course. Here's the lake. And yeah, so uh, it was a pretty good run. Um, again, five miles. Uh, I'm going to be doing a run tomorrow. Um, probably about three-ish miles, so just pretty short. Um, and then I'll be resting Thursday and Friday, waking up Saturday nice nice, nice and early uh, to go on the marathon. And again, like I keep saying over and over and over, it's crazy to think that it's already here. Um, I hope I'm prepared as uh, much as I want and hope I can do as good as I want and expect myself to. So... Um, I was worried, and I have been worried a little bit, that I've been losing my cardio, but after tonight I felt really good. Um, you know, not as good as I want to be by any means, but um, I didn't get a whole lot of sleep tonight either. So I want to uh, make sure I focus on two things, especially over the next couple days until the marathon. Um, number one would be uh, my sleep. I want to make sure I get as much as I can, getting at least you know eight hours a day and night. You know, I might have to split it up a little bit, but make sure I'm laying down at least for eight hours, if not a little bit more. And then also, two, I want to make sure I work on my hydration. I want to make sure I'm getting my water in so I'm hydrated and ready. And also, and I guess the third thing I would be to make sure my nutrition is on, on par. Um, make sure I'm uh, eating the right kinds of foods and then starting... Uh, let's see what would that be starting mm -hmm. I need to maybe think about it a little bit more but I'm gonna probably start carb loading uh, either Wednesday or Thursday for for the Saturday run so we'll see how it goes I'll make sure I think about it and probably look into it a little bit tonight because if it's Wednesday that would be tomorrow um, anyways um, I just kind of also think it's pretty cool that both Don and Car uh, not Carlos, uh, uh, Dale. Oh my gosh, I just forgot your name for two seconds. That's pretty bad. Sorry, dude. Uh, I think you guys. I think it's pretty cool that you guys are both doing races this week. And I think I just posted on Facebook that uh, I think you guys are probably gonna. I think you guys are gonna both do really good and uh, do better than you expect. But also, I think there's a good chance you guys could probably get a uh, if they're doing awards for your age group. I think you guys could probably get some awards uh, that way. So, yeah. So just go out and do the best we can. We'll all do, go out and do the best we can. And then uh, I think we'll all be happy and, and everything. So anyways, um, hope you guys are all doing well. I'm going to hurry and get in the shower, chill for about half hour, 45 minutes, and then go into work. And have a good day. Woohoo! What's up, guys? So I just made a decision um, to uh, start another diet bet. So it's time to weigh in. Um, the reason why I'm starting it now, I'm actually starting it a little bit late also. Um, the diet that I'm in is on day like seven already. Um, but I just want to push myself. Um, during this uh, marathon training, I've been eating a lot more than usual just to get the calories that I need to uh, get through my long runs. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm starting uh, the one with Bruce, the guy from... Uh, the guy from the Extreme Weight Loss, so it should be pretty cool. Um, so here's the moment of truth. It's gonna be wet and gonna be weighing in. Here's my, uh, my word, rutabaga. So let's go ahead and do it. I'll set my camera right here, and I'll show you what it's like. So 247.8. 
So I'm up uh, from my lowest, I'm up about 10-ish pounds, which honestly, with the food I've been eating, uh, I'm not too mad about, believe it or not. Um, and with just all the work that I've put in, um, I know it will drop off pretty quick um, with uh, as soon as I drop my calories back down to where I'm happy with. So let's go ahead and jump in the shower now and then go to work. Yeah.